nod on the map. Um, but then that's just the beginning. Um, for instance, if you want to look at a mashup, you have a third party app that does a friend finder, for instance. You can find out where you are, but more importantly, all your other friends who are using Android devices um, can also broadcast their information, the location information, to you. And all of a sudden, you've got this social graph layered on top of a, of a graphical map. Um, and it can find out who's in the area. I just landed in New York today, right? And uh, all my friends in New York can see that I landed. Let's do dinner. So that could be a third-party third party application, a friend finder, turn-by-turn turn driving instruction. Absolutely. What was the function that I saw from that function right there? Ah, so that's Street View. So we haven't seen that yet. So um, this is one of the unique di characteristics of this Android platform. We actually come with a Compass hardware. So if I tap on Maps, a smudge here. Um, right now, if I so let me show you first my location. So to use my location, you have to turn it on. And say, okay. I'm sorry, it does have GPS and a GPS. Yes. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on cell ID, which is used wireless networks. This is just basically using cell towers to triangulate my position. It's, it's you know, approximately within 100 to 500 meters. But if I tap on enable GPS satellites, it'll take maybe about two minutes to boot up and get a signal. Um, but in that same period of time, I can get... No, this is full GPS. Okay, but it has So now if I actually uh, long press on home to go back to where I was, now I click on my location. So what you see in the upper right hand corner in the status bar now is this sort of antenna with the green blinking indication. That shows that it's acquiring a signal to a satellite. In the meantime, using just the triangulation cell ID, I have an approximate location of where we are. And let's see if it's good. 60th, that's one block off. That's pretty good. Now, um, in about another minute and 30 seconds, I will acquire a specific signal from GPS. But in the meantime, let me show you guys Street View. So, so Assisted GPS, well, it's a combination of both the carrier and the hardware. So um, it, the phone support, the platform supports a GPS, but then it's then, you know, at that point, hardware and carrier depend. Oh, okay. Yeah, you'll have to talk to T-Mobile about the details there. So what you just see now is this blue outline. One quick question. Sure, sure. Does that support walking? Walking directions? Yeah, walking directions. Not yet. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. Coming? Very far. Okay, coming. good, good. That would be an I need that. Third party application? No, no, no. no, no. Uh, okay. Google Maps would actually add that as a feature. Because to it's already on the desktop. Exactly. It should be hard to implement. And not only that, but transit. Voice uh, prompts. Uh, it would show, oh, walking direction. It's actually, um, it's just if you were to walk the route rather than drive the route. It's so, different, like on one way street, two way street. You can walk street. on one way. Right. Yeah. right. There wouldn't be any voice problems. Yeah. Yeah. I would just look on a map, see my location here, see the destination there. And that would and be take like, a bird's eye. That, that would be like the, As the crow flies, kind of route. Yeah. Oh, on the streets. Yeah. Yeah. So it's great in New York. For instance, you know, one First Avenue runs only north, one way. So if I did driving directions, I'd have to drive north. Right. But if I did walking, I, I could walk south. Yeah. No, what you see here is Google Maps. And this is all um, so what I'm going to do is actually show you how that works. I'm going to tap on a location. In fact, let's just tap on where we are. So we're at 59th and 1st. So let me just get that location here. So I'm going to drop this guy, 59th and 1st. And to answer your question, what we've done is we have a fleet of cars that drive up and down every major city in America. And not just the U.S., but also worldwide. Where, uh, not all the time. That, that costs a lot of gas. It wouldn't be they good wouldn't for the environment. Yeah, they wouldn't be a green. That would be very googly of us. But um, we're also doing this in, in France, for instance. So I'm going to tap here. And again, what you're seeing here is real time. So this is pulling over the air from Google servers the actual street view, street level view of where we are. So it's, it's a camera. It's a Google camera. Uh, well, it's, it's basically, imagine like a bunch of cameras attached to the roof of a car. And as you drive down the street, it's just taking pictures over and over, over again. So what I'm seeing is the static image. What you're seeing is a static image. And it's not a real-time image. Oh, okay. yeah. So 
What I can do here is I can pan around and I get street view, again, a bird's eye view of that location. Now, I've actually used this in real life. So I've been using my own Android device for over the last six months, nine months now. And I've actually... So I've actually used this to find parking in San Francisco. Let's say I'm supposed to meet up for dinner with some friends. Parking is horrendous in the city of San Francisco. Uh, but all I had to do was look at street view and I could instantly find that there was a parking garage one block down. A garage, okay, but you can't find the space because it's not real. Time. Exactly. That's, that's, the, that's another future coming. <laughs> but let's say now that you know I want to look down, I can look up. But more importantly, what I was alluding to earlier is we also have a compass on the phone. So what the compass will do is if you, sir, hold this device, just hold it, now pan it around your head. Pan it around. You are now virtually looking at that location as if you were standing there. And you can look up. If you lift the camera up, you can look down. It's raining outside. Can I try it real quick? Absolutely. Mind? Now, think about the possibilities, right? Imagine you've never been to Paris, and you really want to see what the Eiffel Tower is. All you got to do is turn on Street View. Put uh, your, your guy on Street View, the Eiffel Tower. What did you turn on Street View? We were trying to map it and find it. How do you turn it? If you go to Maps, and you click on Menu to pop up the menu bar, and you click on Map Mode, you can see Street View. Oh, you can zoom too. Yes. You can zoom in and out as well. Oh, that is so cool. Here you go. Derek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, developers. Um, oh, no, I don't think so. Like you're in a fixed We haven't.